all right guys you're welcome to this video where i will be showing you how to upload your courses your videos your text and every other things you have in your course into google drive so guys if this is your first time in our channel we are running a series the a to z of information uh, packaging and marketing whereby your whatever you know that is valuable it is sellable so i'm doing a series on how to package your skill your knowledge you know your experience you have gotten over various businesses being it e-commerce, being it affiliate marketing, being it video editing, graphic design, forex and other, you package it into a video course and sell it out for a lifetime without uh, going back to rework it again. This is a form of passive income that you are going to teach people value and they will pay you for it as a video course okay so if this is your first time saying this consider subscribing to our channel right now and turn on the bell notification as we drop two videos in this particular series every day so we are going to run this series from packaging this course from running advertisement on instagram and facebook and down to how you close client on whatsapp or other platform that is what we are going to do is az of information packaging and marketing so without wasting much time remember that google drive like i said in the previous video it is best for new bees because it is completely free and it gives you access to restrict users from downloading your courses if you wish you can give access to anybody you can withdraw access from anybody so without wasting much of time let's get started guys to compress your video before uploading to you know google drive you need to compress like i say so uh, i want you to use this particular app on your phone you just go to your play store and search for panda panda video compressor okay from your uh, apple phone or from your android phone yeah you just go to their market there okay so you can see mine is telling me to like uh, update but i don't need the update right now so all you need to do is that once you search for panda video compressor so the next thing is that you click on uh, download okay so it will download to your phone but i find out that this works with almost android phone that have used so far and uh, but some people with uh, you know kind of a uh, um, you know android phone that is kind of you know old version of android they can't find it so if you can't find it look for this particular second app called video compressor so i want you to look into it this is the full name video compressor there you put uh, i think this uh, iphone uh compact okay video compressor just search for it on android play store or if you are using uh, an apple phone you ju just check for it from the phone okay so these are the two i recommend and the best among them is uh, uh if panda work for you it is the best so once you have installed you can open panda you can open panda so once you open your panda like this this is how you are going to find it and uh, once you have it like this and you find it like this the next thing you do is that you pick the video you have you pick the video you have from where you have it then uh, it can be from your album so if it's from your album for example it's going to be on your x recorder if you use the x recorder i told you to use in your uh recording your course tutorial so now generally it's not about course tutorial although you can use this to compress your video and uh, like i told you you can compress your video if you are uploading on the you know uh, google drive so that it will be easy for your audience for your customer to play them because if they are too heavy it's not going to play smoothly okay but if you are uploading video for youtube you are going to leave it at your best so once you pick your video for example from the folder you have then let me say from this extra recorder i pick this particular video so now you can see i've selected one video okay i've selected one video so far so the next thing you can select two video you can you know mic two video like this you can see this purple bar these are the ones i mark but it's not advisable to mark too much just mark few maybe like one or two if they are 10, 10 minutes like mark like three if they are 20 minutes video just mark like two so that you not jeopardize with your things so sometimes if you are using the free version it's not expensive in nigeria era, i think this less than 2000 era you can buy the you know the premium one so that you can mark more video at once but apart from that and stop watching advert so apart from that you can use this uh, this app for free so let's assume this is the video i want to compress i want to upload i just pick it and i'd be marked so then i will kind of um, go to next at this bottom here so once i click on next the next thing is that so what standard will you compress your video so now if you record your video in x recorder with the highest resolution 1080 by 1080 uh, 1080 resolution and maybe 60 frame rate i would recommend you compress your video to smallest so that you upload to google drive but if for example you record your video from x recorder from 720 
resolution uh, maybe 30 frame rate i will recommend that you use this medium compression as you can see medium has been highlighted so but if you record your video for the higher use this small then irrespective of the one you are choosing or this large this large will still compress your video very well so just use either of medium large or small depending how quality your initial record is, is okay so now once you are done you have to click on this compress okay so you can see panda is now say is panda is squeezing your file so at a moment this video is going to uh, be compressed uh, up to 100 percent So once you have your video like this, you can see it's 100%. So your video has been compressed. You can see the original size is 5 MB and the compress is 0.4 MB. And you can see this one, the original size, the second video down here is 23 MB and the, uh, the you know the compress is 2.3. That is because we use the small size. So if you don't want your video quality to be so much reduced, you use the medium size for drive. So for other purposes, you still want to maintain your video quality and for, to the highest, you can use the high size, okay? So this is how to compress your video once you use the medium to compress your video then the, the next thing is that we're gonna upload this video to our google drive so now we have just finished compressing our video the next thing is to start uploading so subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so that you receive the next video the next day okay thank you very much so the last editor also that i showed you that is the same procedure you use which is the video compressor if panda does not work for you that's only when you use this for me i don't use this most often because panda work for me so in this particular area this is how you're going to show how you the next thing you do just to import the video just like the same process and select the quality so this is how to upload your course to Drive and it's very easy, Google Drive, how to upload your course to Google Drive. So Drive is most, if you're using an Android just like I'm doing right now, Drive is fine on that Google app, okay? Or you can go to the main app and you will see, uh, maybe you go, you trace by letter, so maybe you go to letter D and uh, you will find the Drive there, okay? So Drive is always under this group app called Google on your Android. So if it's not there, you can easily go to Play Store and uh, you can go to Play Store and search for, you know, Google Drive, okay? Google Drive. So, you have your Google Drive here, okay? So, if, uh, if you are using also, uh, you install it from here, mine is showing up there. If you are using a laptop, a window laptop also, you can just sign it. Make sure you are signing to, the, uh, to your laptop with your Gmail account. Then, uh, that Gmail account, make sure that uh, you now search for Google Drive. So if you are not signing, it will tell you to sign in with your Google account, your Gmail account, okay? You sign in with your Gmail account and Gmail password. So these are part of Google, you know, apps, okay? So now once you have your drive in your computer or in your, in your phone, you can just click on drive. Then you can see that you are logged into the particular drive, okay? If you want to change the account, you can click here to change the account okay so that that is it for that so now to upload your video all you need to do is that you go to your gallery okay go to your gallery depending on the one you are using this the gallery so the videos you have recorded you know where they are so we already know that they are in your x recorder folder so now if you have compressed them mind you you will find them in another folder depending on what you name the folder whether compressed or panda anyhow so let's assume that, 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 that these are the videos so all you need to do is that you highlight the videos and uh, once you highlight the video you want to upload so you upload the video based on the uh, serial number you you give them so to avoid confusing yourself you want to upload large number of videos as a cost to google drive immediately you compress the video using panda for example you make sure that uh, you you name the video from here let's say this is video one this is video two make i uh, remember i told you to compress only one so now when you compress let's say this is o1 for instance this is o1 for example o1 you name it this is o2 just name them from here okay when you compress then this is o2 video o2 so now when you compress then you click on save okay you click on save remember you click on save so when you save them like this so depending on the folder you just save them because if they, if they tell you save, it will tell you the direction, the folder you are saving them. So mine now, you can see the last folder here is resale and editing. So now, resale and editing. If you want to change the folder you save, then you click here, okay? So you can click here and change the folder you want to save your compressed video. Uh, I taught you, okay? So now that I know that my folder 
is resale. Okay, it, uh, it, our name is resale editing. So let's say these are the two videos I just saved now today, as you can see from up. So now to upload this video is not going to hurt for me. I will just click two. Please don't upload two more. You can upload like two to five at once or six, but let it not be too much so that it will not hang up. You can upload three at once. So let's say this is the first video and the second video. So all you need to do from your, your gallery is click on this share icon here. So if it's not fine here, you can click on this double and uh, you will see share. So this is the share icon and you can now see your drive here. So if you didn't see your drive here, you just go to more. You know, so more of the app that you can share. You must definitely find your drive among the area you can share. So now you can see why I say you should name it that. You can see it has already automatically pick up the name. But if you don't need this, you can just be uploading your video one one. Anyone you put here, you change the name from here. Okay. The reason why I can't change is that it's more than one. But if it is one item, which is I recommend for newbie upload each of those video calls you have created or you have compressed then you start uploading while well, you can change the name from here and you can name it from one okay so one mp or anyhow so now so that why you are naming it one is that you it will not be arranged if from ciliary on your drive the way it's supposed to be so that if your customers if you sell out that course they will know that this is video one this is video two this is video three so they will follow each other serially so now uh, have not name it have you name it the next thing is uh let me show you the name. Let me upload one instead of two. So let me upload one. Let me share and uh, let me share. So you can see now, because I'm uploading one, I can edit this area, okay? So now, this is what I recommend for newbie to start with. So you can see, you can say this is zero one. So this will now be video one. So now here you select the account, that is the Gmail account. So when you click it, if you have other Gmail, you can select so that that particular gmail will be the one uh, using that drive okay so now the next thing is the folder so this is the folder so in folder you can change folder if this is not the folder you want like this is not the one i want i can click easily go back so when i go back i want to create a new folder okay that i want to upload this particular course okay so now what i will do is that i will create i will click on this plus icon and uh, once you click on that plus icon it will not tell you it will not give you room to create another folder so this course tutorial i want to upload let's say it's about information marketing course information marketing let me just say information marketing i will create so now i've created the folder so the next thing is that i will just uh, click on select so i will select this folder okay so if you have already created the folder before you need to do is just come here if you want to change the folder click here again and change go back well, remember here you go back from this arrow then you choose the folder okay so if it's this or is this or is this or it's a new one you click so the, for me this is the folder i just created information i'm gonna select so this means that this video i'm uploading is video one on this account or the drive on this particular email and is the folder that this video is going to enter fall into is this information marketing folder so i will say save i will click on save from this button here so now once i click on save the video has gone so let's say this is video one that i just uploaded so the next video you upload this one so make sure that I, i'm one i'm giving you a tip don't don't compress all the video before you start uploading you might end up confusing and if you don't want to confuse yourself you must you know after compressing your video you must name them from panda name them from here so that it won't confuse you immediately you come here to your folder and highlight all this video all this video now for example i've, I've named them from my compress so if i highlight all of them randomly anyhow I will click on share. I want to show you. I select drive. You will find that automatically the videos have numbers. So when they go to my drive now, they will arrange themselves according to, you know, in descending order. Ascending, going up from one, two, three, four. That is how they will be arranged themselves. Okay. So that is why it is good to name your videos immediately after you compress them before you click on this save. Remember? Before you click on this save, you name them. So just to name them one, two, three, okay? By clicking on this edit uh, pencil here and name them. But if you have already made a mistake, make sure that the videos you have are not too much. So that yourself, now assuming I will ask myself, which one is video one, two, three here? I may not know because they might end up confusing me. So it's better maybe you come, do one video, edit that video, then you upload it, upload it one after the other. So now if I go to my drive, let me go to my drive so to see that particular folder 
I will make sure that it is the email that I, it is selected here. So now, since it is the email, make sure that you are under file, not shared. Shared are the files they share with you, the link, the drive link they shared with you. Why your file is the one you created and uploaded yourself. So now you can see this folder that I created which is information marketing, so I will check. So the video now is uploaded, it has not finished. When it's finished, it will display a real image of video here, okay? So that is how to upload your video course on the, on what? On Drive. So guys, if you like this video, you like the value I'm giving to you, and uh, you want to continue on this series of uh, how to create your market how to create information marketing course and sell it out your skill your knowledge and make money and you like how to what i just did on how to upload video on google drive please i want you to like my this video i want you to comment on this video and i want you to subscribe to my channel so that other people will get to see this video they will benefit and i will also benefit without you losing anything from doing that thank you very much we'll meet in the next video